All right, so we just came to the office. <clears throat> what happened to my voice? It's like as soon as I started talking, it went all raspy. So yeah, we came to the office just to do a little bit of work and I'm pushing Alex to go have lunch because it's almost 2 p.m. now and we have lots to do. We're having guests over tonight, so that's exciting. I still have to decide what to make tonight. I think I'm gonna make orange cake. Alex, what else? Eggplants. Eggplants. I don't know, I just, I wanna try something different because I, when I'm in a rush, I tend to like cook the same things every single time and I like to feel more inspired and prepare different dishes. But that usually takes time because you have to think and you know, think of combinations that you can mix together. Anyways, I'm gonna finish emails now and then we're probably gonna head somewhere to get lunch and then we're thinking to go to science museum. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Science or the natural history museum? All well, depends on the lineups. Yeah, it all depends on the lineups. So I'm just doing some emails right now and I sometimes keep this for the Saturday or Sunday because these are like more personal emails that I read from you guys and it always warms my heart so much. Thank you guys for taking the time to email me. It's always so sweet and a lot of times I'm just sitting there tearing up and as much as I can, I always respond to my emails. Thank you. You guys are awesome too, we love Italy. <laughs> I love sitting here and people watching. It's like the perfect spot for people who love people watching. <laughs> guilty pleasure to Leon. Well, it's not that guilty because it's quite healthy. In fact, it's these baked fries that we just get once in a while. Mm. They're really good. They're like waffles. We'll see them. So good. Thank you. <laughs> so good. I love Leon's because it's the healthiest fast food you can find pretty much anywhere. And these are baked. <laughs> Every time we pass by here, we stop and just like look at people skating for a few minutes. So pretty and magical. We should go skating, Alex. We haven't gone since last year. So we were gonna go 
to the museum but look at the queue all of these people are waiting to get in uh, yeah I don't think so still keeps going this is usually our secret entrance I can't believe people found out Alex did you look it out on one of your videos no <laughs> no my disappointed face I guess we'll have to come back can you tell how dark it is I don't think you can in the camera it actually looks much brighter it's only 4 it's 4 p.m. and it's practically nighttime it doesn't look like it in the camera yeah it looks like 10 times brighter we're our old neighborhood but yeah yeah we used to live right here actually I'm not gonna say the address but Why for not? those of you who live around here because we're home to move back here right yeah. we're actually looking for a new flat right now even though we moved in May and we like our current flat it's only one bedroom and because we love hosting people everyone who is visiting from Toronto or the States and there's always so many people visiting us or just like in London <laughs> friends that are visiting London and yeah they can't stay with us any longer because we just have one bedroom Oh my god guys, I don't know, I want to show you this. There's a tree in full bloom. I'm gonna turn this camera around. Look at that. Can you tell? I'm gonna go closer. It's in full bloom. Flowers. Now you can tell how dark it is. Yeah. There's oh, flowers on that tree. Garden square. Yeah, it's so pretty here. Blooming in December. How incredible. Hey kitty, hey, what's your name? What's your name? Don't be afraid, don't go on the street. <laughs> uh, I don't think he's interested in playing with me. Bye kitty, bye. I've been thinking about what to do, been thinking about me, about me and you. For a long time, I tried to find reason to stay here in this cage of mine. Well, I, I don't need no borderline. Alright, we got almost everything we need for dinner. Now, time to go home and actually start cooking because it's already 4.30 p.m. I don't have a lot of time. Maybe he's having a rosary moment. <laughs> 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 I never ever do this, okay? The only time I'm dancing to traditional Azarian music, you have to give me a camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, so my friend Amelia and her boyfriend are coming over tonight and I know that Amelia likes sweets so I'm gonna bake her one of my favorite dishes or cakes ever. It's an orange cake and it's sugar gluten and dairy free. It's super easy to make. It's just a bit time consuming so I'm hoping I have enough time and Alex just stepped out to get some sweet potatoes and something else we were missing. And eggplant, yeah, because I'm gonna be baking some eggplant too. Alright, so I gotta organize. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually boil some oranges for the orange cake. So these will boil for about 50 minutes. The eggplants are going in the oven. Probably gonna bake for about an hour. Bye bye. For a long time, I tried to find this and to stay here in this cage of mine. But I, I don't need no borderline. I, I don't need that for me. Oh, they look great. Look at that. Mmm. I'm also making sweet potatoes, so these are ready to go in the oven as well. It's a busy kitchen. Now I'm gonna add some almond flour. Sometimes gotta walk out the door. Don't it always seem to go? Alright, the orange cake is going in. 
<laughs> See you later. All right, progress is being made. I am just planting the eggplants. I'm gonna add some tahini and pomegranate seeds. I just made a salad. I still have to clean up this mess. Alex washed the kale. And then I had a little emergency with sweet potatoes because I added too much oil. And then I had to replace the... I had to put them basically on a different um, baking sheet because there was just too much oil in there. I guess that was a bit too generous. By the way, if you're wondering if I, if I always used to cook, I didn't. <laughs> I feel like I learn as I go along and as you can see, I make a lot of mistakes. But that's all part of learning. It's fun. Show your oil and stuff? Yeah, I did show the, a bit of an oily part. I just, when, I, when I'm excited about... Sure. <laughs> When I'm excited and I cook with passion, I sometimes can overdo on things, like add a little too much Salt. of something. Salt, oil. Does that sound familiar? Let me know. Wanna peek? You wanna peek? I know you wanna peek. Oh, that's dirty. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Uh, brace yourself. Ooh, that looks delicious. Mm, I wish you could smell that. It smells amazing. Oh, nice. I think it's almost ready. It's a yeah. bit ahead of its time. It's only 7 p.m. They're coming in half an hour. You guys I just want to quickly film. Okay, so <laughs> these are some artists. You can keep talking, salad. I just mainly want to show how yeah. this turned oh. out. <laughs> I'm obsessed with all Hi, Louis. Hey. <laughs> awesome. I'm excited to try this because it's my first time making this yeah. dish. <laughs> Not what guests are yeah, supposed to do, Amelia. Please I look at her. That. She's loading the dishwasher <laughs> in the middle of the dinner. This is the first. I've never had this. Like, oh, we have so much this is the first. It's I'm fun. I'm like, Alex is like, I don't know what to do. I'm supposed to be cooking, or <laughs> Amelia, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Please, let's go. So we're already in bed. Alex washed the dishes. I meditated. Well, Amelia helped wash this. <laughs> yeah, Amelia helped a lot. We had such an amazing dinner. I'm so, so grateful to have Amelia as a friend. She's such a wonderful human being. So sweet and genuine and authentic. Amelia, if you're watching, I love you. And just in general, I think it's so important to have good people in your life. You know how they say you are the average of your five best friends. I always think about that. I think you told me about that concept. Mm -hmm. It was Jason and Kieran, our yeah, it's, friend. It's, Alex is like, I'm sleeping, don't point the camera at me. So it's, it's... My battery just died. Clearly the battery is tired and wants to go to sleep more than me. I just want to talk. Thanks Alex for bringing an extra battery <sighs> pack. But what I was saying is that every once in a while I think it's so important to like look at your friendships and your friend circle and ask yourself a question, are these people bringing me up or dragging, dragging me down? It's a very honest question. I mean, it's a very important question that you have to be honest when you answer because only you know the answer to that. And if the people in your circle, in your close friend circle are not bringing you up, then it's probably time to move on. I've done that before in my life where I just had to sort of, you know, break up. <laughs> in a way. Um, so if the friendship is not serving you, there's no point to keep it. There's so many amazing people out there that you can meet. There's so many wonderful people who will push you towards a better life, who will make you laugh, who will enrich your life. And also you, you can have be, you have to be that friend to other people also. You can be, oh, I just realized the light is flickering because we just have candles burning because <laughs> we don't have the lights on in the evenings. We just have the candles. But yeah, basically we have to always challenge ourselves first to be that friend who will uplift, who will push somebody forward, who will ask very honest questions and always be there for each other. Okay, that's all my sleepy talk. I'm gonna go to sleep. Even the camera doesn't want to focus anymore. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for being my friend. Good night. You wanna do five minute journal? <laughs> You want to get up then? <laughs>